How's it going you crazy koalas? Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a product review for you. Today I will be doing a product review on the V Battle Decks. This one particularly is a Venusaur vs Blastoise deck and I'm very excited to bring this content to the channel. Uh, today's video is sponsored by Solopop, our national distributor of all things TCG and our premier importer of board games and toys. So with that being said, uh, the V Battle Decks are taking... Um, place from the theme decks they will no longer be theme decks by the looks of things it will just be v battle decks from now on they come separately with either venusaur or blasters at the moment but you can get them as a whole package like this and when you do get the whole package you get something a little bit extra so let's have a look at the back and let's see what the back tells us we get so we get two ready play, ready to play V decks. It gives you the deck list, but we'll be going through those shortly. Um, each deck contains a powerful special Pokemon, right? So that'll be the, the guy in front. Then it's the eight additional trainer cards, including two foils. So that is exclusively for the two player sets and not the one player set, right? Two large metallic coins. They brought back metal coins. I'm very happy about that. Two deck boxes, quick guides. Two single player player mats, six reference cards, damage counters, one guide for upgrading your decks. I will be happy to see that. We can maybe try and put that to use online. Um, and then a code card for the online game. Cool. So let's open the box and have a look. If you guys haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, there's going to be a lot, a lot of product reviews slash pack opening coming up over the next two to three weeks. So stick around. It's going to be worth it, guys. Um, okay, so I kind of tore this box. They are individually packaged. Remember, like I said, I really cannot open anything outside of a booster pack. So. Cool, let's have a look. Whoa, that is a massive coin. Those are massive. I love that. That is very cool. Okay, so it looks like the exclusive trainers are over here. Oh, it's a metallic coin. It's still plastic though guys, still plastic, okay? So, I mean you got the coin. I love this Blastoise coin. Look how big, like, guys. This is a big, big coin. I wonder if I have a coin to compare it to. Let me have a look. I don't, I don't have one right now. But this coin is massive, guys. This is massive, and it's a Blastoise coin, which is super cool. It's a Blastoise and a Venusaur coin. Uh, let's do it one deck at a time. So we'll start off with my homeboy, Blastoise. So, oh wow, the damage count doesn't even look great. Um, they have like a kind of a shiny metallic feel to them. I mean, nobody really uses paper damage counters anymore, but this is very ideal for a beginner, right? So, wow, that looks stunning. Um, the code card, I'm going to keep the Blastoise code card because I would like to do the deck upgrade that they're suggesting in this video. So, I'll keep it one side. Um, let's have a look and see what's in here. So, we've got this. Yes, uh, it just looks like a little leaflet. Pose them down. More energies, please. Dreadnought, Volcanion, all have attacked. Need three energies. Capacious Bucket helps with that. Okay, cool. So, this isn't the upgrade guide. I think this just gives you a little bit of a rundown on how the deck should be played. Okay. We've got a quick start rule book on awesome artwork on the front. Um, basically. Okay, cool. So, this is like a beginner's rule book. Um, basically, goes through everything. All the basics um, you can go have a look on my youtube channel on the get smart series if you go to my older videos episode one basically covered all the contents of this book um, we've got a mat so yeah i'm guessing that they each have their own artwork on so we've got oh wow that's actually like a little poster on the back and um you guys can see and then we've got the blastoise on this side with the mat layout. You know what I have a problem with with these starter mats is there's no space for the stadium. Um, but they are very cool though. Very, very helpful for beginners, people just starting out, right? Okay, maybe this is the deck upgrade guide. Okay, 
upgrade your decks. You'll find eight additional trainer cards. Uh, make them even make them even more powerful. Cool bosses or just quick ball money turbo patch. Oh, okay, so it's only giving you the upgrades that come with it. Um, not to worry though, I will take this Blastoise deck and upgrade it and we can see how far we can take it. So let's see what the deck contents are, now that we've gone through all the little pretty things. Um, also we've seen these before as well, the little the helping pack that you can keep in your, in your deck box when you're playing in a tournament. Um, so you can see what you can do, what are special conditions. And it shows you what each of the special conditions do, confused, poison, burn, and then I think we are paralyzed and asleep. So very cool, a nice little handy little three cards to keep in your deck box if you are new to the game. Um, okay, Blastoise, I think he needs to definitely go into a sleep, like ASAP. Oh man, you know I love Blastoise guys. I was so excited to see this box. So Blastoise V, what does he do? He does Water Gun for 30 and he does Torrential Cannon for 200 and during your next turn this Pokemon can't use Torrential Cannon and that's 3 energies. Blastoise V is a basic Pokemon. There is a V Max that came that is coming out in a box for Battle Styles. So um, I'm very excited to get that box too, but cool. There's Blastoise. Um, oh, let's just... Oh, there's Blastoise. There's the deck box. And let's have a look and see what we get inside these decks. The starter decks have, are known to be very vanilla, unfortunately, very basic. But it's for people to learn to play, right? Um, let's see, we've got a bunch of water energies. Energy Retrieval, Switch, Sharpedo, Gym Trainer. That's new from Shining Fates. Draw two cards. If any of your Pokemon are knocked out during your opponent's last turn, draw two more. Okay. Gavana, Dreadnought. I'll stack the sturdy damage for each. Oh, this is the one from Rebel Clash. Um, the sturdy damage for each star in your opponent's retreat cost. So that can do potentially quite a lot of damage in Jaw Lock. Uh, Tutel, Hop, Bead, Bede, Bead. <laughs> Dan, the Rock, Paper, Scissors Man. Kavana, Hop, Cramorant. This is the one that does 50 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon for two energies. So there's a better one that came out in a later set, but that's still okay. Wishiwashi, Volcanion, that's cool. I've never seen this one. Shining Fates, yeah. Hammer in for 50 and Dynamite Stream, flip two coins, 120 for each head. If you like flipping coins though. <laughs> uh, gym Trainer, Barrascuda, uh, he looks familiar. He, oh, this one's from Rebel Clash, yeah, that's the Rebel Clash logo. Discard two water energies from your hand if you don't attack this, nothing. Okay, not the best. Great Ball, Aracuda, Kavana, Chuto, Hop, Pages Bucket, Sharpedo, um, that's from Champion's Path, eh? Evolution Incense, Speed, Sonia, Volcanion again, Switch, Dreadnought, Dan, Hop, Aracuda, Great Ball, Wishy Washy, Capacious Bucket. Okay, so it seems to have a very simple recipe. I'm glad that the Blastoise isn't weak to grass because that would make this uh, make the dual pack very unfair. Uh, it looks like majority, if not all of the Pokemon are weak to electric. I was a little bit concerned about that um, with him putting a grass and a water deck in the same um, battle pack almost. Um, okay, so a pretty standard 60 card deck, nothing too flashy, nothing too fancy. Um, going through the deck though, I already have a couple of ideas on what I would like to do to upgrade the deck list. So I'll definitely do a video on that on the next Kahuna Plays upgrade day. Okay, so um, that's the Blastoise. Let's check out the Venusaur. Venusaur should be having a, a little bit of the same. I can't get over how big these coins are, man. <laughs> so Venusaur, Venusaur should be a little bit of the same. Um, I love Blastoise, I really do, but this Venusaur artwork looks so much better than the Blastoise, like, by a long shot, I mean, guys, that Venusaur looks so, so much better, um, cool, Venusaur can go chill under his coin as well, um, this code card, I'm gonna keep these code cards. I know I normally give the code cards away, guys, 
but it's just for for me to do future videos right it's the same we've got the same contents we've got those beautiful damage counters the special conditions pack uh, battle styles the basic rule book and of course the mat should have the Venusaur on the play the play side now yeah there's your Venusaur okay so that should be closed cool let's have a look at the Venusaur deck um, it's very nice to see them adding cards from Shining Fates in here, considering that this deck isn't really a Shining Fates release. It's on the border of Shining Fates and um, Battle Styles, right? Uh, we've got Energies, okay. Yanma, Hop, Skido, Yanmega from Shining Fates. 120, does 30 damage to itself. Okay, not too great. Go Goat, that's from Vivid Voltage, I think. Durant. If a Durant is on your bench, just does 60 more damage. That's not a bad Durant. A Yanma Gossifleur from Shining Fates. Great ball. Hop. Speed. Switch. Indeed, you haven't seen this one before. So you deck for basic energy card and attach it to one of your bench Pokemon. That's not a bad starting Pokemon in the starter deck. That's actually pretty good. Psychic, this attack does 20 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. I like this in DD. This, we should see more cards like this in starter decks. Um, it's a good utility card. It helps speed the decks up because generally that's the problem with the starter decks. They're a bit slow. Uh, Evolution Incense, Durant again. I'd like to see four Durant hopefully. Heracross, this is from Rebel Clash. Your opponent switches one of their bench Pokemon for 30. And with three energies, super powered horns for 110. Gym Trainer. Great Ball, Gym Trainer, Heracross, Pokemon Catcher, Dan. There's potions and stuff in here, so it is a different trainer list altogether. Skiddo, Go Goat again. Aldegoss, um, Surprise Attack for 50, and heal all damage from one of your bench Pokemon. Okay, that's cool. Gossifier, Yanmega, another Indeedee, and another Durant. So there's three Durants. Not bad at all. Um, that's actually pretty cool. I feel like the grass deck is a little bit better than the water one, just on on first sight of the actual deck contents. I feel like there's a little bit more synergy. Indeed, he's quite a good Pokemon compared to Volcanion, um, with regards to starting in a basic, um, start, starting out as a basic deck straight out of the box. I feel like the Venusaur would be the better deck. So those were the two boxes, and then we've got the additional trainer pack now from what i understand this boss of boss's orders is exclusive um we've got two foil boss's orders straight in its sleeve because we know that they are hard to come by and it's lysander guys lysander's back i'm so excited about that because lysander was always my favorite he's He's the OG, uh, like, switch. He's the OG cast guy. He was the first supporter that did this, and now he's coming back, which is awesome. Then we've got two quick balls, two Marnies, and two turbo patches. Marnies, quick balls, always playable. Turbo patch, not really, but I love the extra staples they give you here. It's definitely incentivizing you to go and get the double pack opposed to the, the normal one, one deck pack. Okay, guys, so that's basically it for today. We've got... The two bosses orders and we've got our two v's so happy with these jumbo jumbo coins <laughs> and the two decks thank you so much for watching the video um if you like what i did please like subscribe hit the bell notification all that stuff you know that i said in every video um i'm just trying to grow the channel and help grow the community it is exactly exactly less than a day before the Kahuna Koala PTCG Open 2 is happening. So guys, please go check it out. Um, if you're not playing, I'll be streaming live on my channel all day from 10 a.m. in the morning till it finishes in the evening. So you guys can tune in whenever you like. Come check out the gameplay. And yeah, help support the South African community with the games, guys. Um, that's it. Once again, thank you to Solar Pop for sponsoring the video. I appreciate it. And my other sponsor, Unplug Yourself. Um, I really do appreciate all of the support from them as well. And that's it for me, guys. Um, until next time, cheers.